Hi, my name is Michelle Ferguson and I am the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Camellia washcloth. For this project you will need 100% cotton worsted weight yarn, about 94 to 105 yards. Um, I'm using Dishy in the colorway Dewdrop and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or hook to obtain gauge. Let's get started. Okay, the Camellia washcloth is one of my absolute favorites. It is super beginner friendly, super easy um, repeat, and it makes such a great texture. So once you've determined what hook size you need, um, we are going to go ahead and start the project. Um, this pattern is worked in a multiple of two plus one. So if you want to make a different size washcloth or a different size square, you can use that multiple of chaining a multiple of two and then plus one to um, create any size you want. I, however, am going to be making a 10 inch by 10 inch washcloth. So I'm going to start by chaining 32. So I'm just going to create a slip knot here. And then I am going to work 32 chains and I'm just gonna grab my yarn and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Okay, I have chained 32 stitches. Um, I like to work in the back bump of my chain. So this is the front of your chain. I'm going to flip it over and you see these little bumps right here. This is what I'm going to work into. I just feel like it makes it look a little cleaner. There's no gap um, when you work your stitch into it. So I like to work into that back bump. So for row one, we are going to double crochet in the third chain from hook. So this is the first chain from my hook. This is the second chain from my hook. So this one's attached, see? This is the second. This is the third chain from my hook. So I'm gonna work a double crochet. I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna insert my hook into my chain, the back bump of my chain. I'm gonna yarn over that yarn and grab it and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, grab that yarn, pull through two of those loops. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over, grab that yarn, and pull through those two. That is my first double crochet. For the next chain, I am going to do one single crochet. So I am going to insert my hook into that back bump of my chain. I'm going to grab that yarn, yarn over and grab that yarn, pull up a loop. So now I have two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and grab that yarn and I am going to pull through all two. So I have worked a single crochet. Now I'm going to do another double crochet into the next chain. So I am going to yarn over. So I have the, the yarn already on my hook. I am going to insert into that back bump of the chain and then yarn over and grab the yarn. Now I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. So I've worked another double crochet. Now I'm gonna work one single crochet into the next. So I'm going to insert my hook into the back bump, yarn over and grab that yarn, pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook, yarn over and grab that yarn, pull through all two. And I am going to continue working one double crochet in the next chain and then one single crochet in the next chain from that all the way across and I'll end with a single crochet stitch. So double crochet in this one and single crochet in the next one. Double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next. 
And I'm just going to work all the way across. Do that at your own pace. You can pause the video and work one double crochet and then one single crochet all the way across. And I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I have completed row one. I have 30 stitches um, and I ended with that single crochet stitch. Now we are going to work row two. So for row two, we're gonna start it off with a long chain. So for a long chain, it's really simple. All you do is you're gonna pull up a loop about the height of a double crochet. So just, I mean, a little bit higher than what you would typically chain. And then you're going to grab your yarn and chain one. And then you're going to turn. And it'll look a little funky right here. But then you're going to work your double crochet right into that very first stitch. So I've yarned over. I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through two. And that just gives it a nice straight edge. So one DC in the first after the long chain and turn. Then I'm going to single crochet into the next and I'm working. So this first double crochet was worked into a single crochet stitch and this first single crochet is worked into the double crochet stitch of the of row one. So I'm working into the opposite stitch or working the opposite stitch into the stitch from um, one row below. So now I'm going to work a double crochet into the third and a single crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next and you are going to repeat that all the way across so one double one single one double one single all the way across ending with a single crochet stitch at the end so go ahead and do that now and i'll meet you at the end of this row all right, I have completed row two, and as you can see, we're starting to get some really nice texture. And that texture is created by working that opposite stitch into the row, I mean the previous row. So it gives it a little bit of texture there, which is so nice. All right, now for rows three through 28, all we're gonna do is repeat row two. So it's just a once one row repeat, um, and it's super simple. So we're gonna do our long chain, and, and chain one, and we're gonna do a, a double crochet into that first stitch, and a single crochet into the next. And we're gonna repeat across, and we're gonna do that for 28 rows total. So go ahead and work on your washcloth, pause the video, and I'll show you what it looks like in the end, and Give you a trim option if you like. Um, so go ahead and work your washcloth and you can come back once you have completed it. Okay, this is what the completed washcloth looks like. This is rows one through 28. There is no trim on this. I just fastened off um, and weaved in my ends. If you wanted to add a single crochet trim just to give it a little more straight edge, um, you could, instead of fastening off at the end of 28, you could turn and work a single crochet across and then down and then across the bottom and then back up and join here and fasten off. And then you'd have a nice little trim. But I personally just love the texture of it and the look of it as is. So it's totally up to you. If you liked this easy beginner friendly stitch combo if you love the texture like i do be sure to check out the rest of the camellia crochet patterns that i have um, i'll list them in the description for you to check out each one um, thank you so much for watching i hope you'll subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day bye